Today we're going to look at a feature that's been in GP for a little while, and it's in the inventory module, and it's on mass assigning sites to items. And then we're going to get a sneak preview as to some new features in GP 2013 that's due out later this year. What you're seeing on the screen now is GP 2013, so let's take a little bit of a dive into it. Under our cards, we have our site window, and this is true whether you're in the older version or the newer version, but one thing that you will see that is new, we have an inactive button, so that's one of our first new features, so that you can inactivate an entire site if you wish. So I'm going to do a look up, and you can see I have quite a few sites out here, but what I'm going to do is create a site called New York City NYC and we'll give the description New York City and I'm not going to fill out all of the other information just yet I'll leave it just as it is but I want to go in and show you a little bit about the assign button so we'll click on the assign button and it's prompting us that we must save the site first so I'll go ahead and click on save and now we could either just click OK and this will mass assign the site to all inventory items or we have the ability to do a little bit of ranges here to us. So we can come in and just say, um, I'm only interested in this range of item numbers and or a range of descriptions and or a range of classes or and or a range of vendors. So you can vendor IDs. So you can determine which items that you want to assign to this class. It doesn't have to be all or nothing um, or one at a time. It could be done in ranges. So you just have to think thoughtfully about how your items are assigned and set them up accordingly. So I'm just going to uh, add the items to just these few items or add the site to just these few items. I'll click on OK and the mass assign is already complete. Now if I wanted to I could again inactivate the entire site so it would not be usable. So that's one new feature in GP 2013. And another new feature in 2013, if I go to the quantity site window and I click on my site ID, I can toggle through all the sites that are set up for this particular item. Um, I'm going to do a lookup and pull up my New York City site. And this is another new feature. I have the ability to inactivate the relationship between this item and this site. So even though I'm still saying this site is available for inventory um, because I haven't inactivated it on the site maintenance card, I can say I will no longer store this item at this site by simply inactivating it here. And if I do so, save that, you could see my return site is still active my north site still active, but the New York City site is inactive. So I hope this helps a little bit in helping you plan for your upgrade to GP 2013, along with how to uh, thoughtfully use the site assign button. Hope this helps.